In a world of reboots, remakes, and remasters, when Disney revealed the Disney Plus exclusive Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, almost everyone assumed it would be a remake of the classic cartoon. However, the trailer surprised all of us by being almost entirely unrelated to being a reboot of the cartoon. Much like 2019's Jay and Silent Bob reboot, it's more using the reboot and remake trend as a plot device. With the movie's usage of a million different animation styles all mashed together, it's pretty rightfully being compared to 1988's classic Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And with that comparison in mind, we ask the question, which one is better? I'm Kyle with Wicked Binge, and this is Chippendale's Rescue Rangers vs Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And before we continue, obligatory spoiler warning for Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. With the movie just being released on Disney+, Plus, the plot of this movie is still fresh enough to be qualified for a warning. And same for Roger Rabbit if you somehow haven't watched this 30-year-old classic. So starting out, one of the most important parts of the film is the main characters, who are pretty much the main driving force in a film. When it comes down to an audience's perception of these characters, being likable is very important. The main characters of Roger Rabbit are the titular Roger and detective Eddie Valiant both of which are flawed protagonists. Roger can be seen as very annoying at times, and Eddie's prejudice against the tunes is a major theme of the film, and something we'll get into later. Eddie and Roger both are likable in their own ways, especially after the full length of a crime-solving movie. On the other end of the spectrum are Chip and Dale, the titular characters of Rescue Rangers. Chip is kind of consistently annoyed throughout the movie. Not to say Dale is annoying, but Chip's whole deal is being annoyed with him until the end. Meanwhile, Dale seems to be so focused on the potential reboot that he comes off as fame-hungry after falling into relative obscurity. But they are still the heart of the film, and relatable characters in the end. That said, we do have to say that Who Framed Roger Rabbit has the better main characters just because they're more fleshed out, a bit deeper, and far more memorable. However, just as important are the villains and antagonists. Both films feature a villain who is uniquely targeting the many cartoon characters throughout the movie. In Chip and Dale, the main villain is Sweet Pete, the original Disney Peter Pan who was ousted from his role and decided to create bootleg films as revenge. Sweet Pete is revealed early on and is the major villain for the majority of the film, wanting to bootleg Chip and Dale. However, on the other end of the spectrum is Judge Doom, the superior court judge of Toontown, who hates the tunes and wants to disintegrate them all in the dip. One of the most effective twists we can think of is the fact that Doom is actually a tune as well, which changes everything we thought we knew. So in the end, while Sweet Pete is an effective villain, we think that Who Framed Roger Rabbit has a much superior villain in Judge Doom. A bit of a unique thing to talk about next are the film's references. Both films have a wide variety of cameos, references, and characters from varying IPs. In the case of Roger Rabbit, it has two iconic scenes referencing specific characters. The first is the duck piano fight with Donald and Daffy Duck going head to head. And the second is when Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse pop around in the skydiving scene. Now obviously there's more than this, like Dumbo appearing early on in the movie, but those are the two big ones. Chip and Dale on the other hand have everything ranging from Disney IPs like Darkwing Duck and Lumiere to characters like Randy Marsh and Roger Rabbit himself. One of the most important characters in the film is Ugly Sonic, the pre-release Sonic render from the Sonic movie, and he's made to be a very funny joke. There is also the very interesting Seth Rogen scene near the end, where Pumbaa, Master Mantis, and Bob all appear. Not to mention Paul Rudd and Ant-Man. And my superpower was being really charming to aunts. So there's no surprise that Chippendale's Rescue Rangers takes the cake for this category, because these cameos and references are really well done, and don't feel like glorified background characters. Probably the most important part of any film is the story, which is our next category. Both films feature vastly different stories with similar themes running through both. Rescue Rangers focuses on Chip and Dale trying to save their old friend, Monterey Jack, from being bootlegged. This leads to the two rekindling a friendship that broke up many years ago and realizing that they do need each other. Meanwhile, the story of Who Framed the Roger Rabbit is right there in the title. Eddie is hired to find out if Jessica Rabbit is cheating on Roger, and when it seems like she might be, the man she was with ends up dead. Now Eddie has to clear Roger's name because it seems like he was the one who did it. This leads to them facing off against Judge Doom and his acidic dip. Enough to dip Toontown off the face of the earth! While both films have a similar villain plot, 
we do think the overall story of Who Framed Roger Rabbit is better. The almost film noir vibes of the film definitely brings it a bit higher in our eyes. Moving on, let's have a chat about the film's setting. The funny thing about these films is that both of them actually take place in the Los Angeles area, the main difference being the time. Who Framed Roger Rabbit takes place in the 1940s in LA, but most of its focus is on Toontown, where 90% of the Toons live. Its wacky representation of cartoon characters and plenty of interesting locals makes the film a fun ride through plenty of slapstick. That said, Rescue Rangers takes place in current day LA, being what you would call a spiritual successor to Roger Rabbit, where Toons now live all over Los Angeles. Unlike in Roger Rabbit, Toons aren't segregated and work with humans regularly. The only place where it doesn't seem to be the case is in the Uncanny Valley, where characters who fall into the Uncanny Valley seem to be forced to live. It actually looks like I'm looking right at you. And because we think that it merges the two worlds together more effectively, we have to say that the winner of this category is Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Now moving on, we have to talk about the comedy, which both movies have in spades. Yes, comedy is subjective, so this category will be as well. Chippendale's comedy is pretty good throughout most of the film. Jokes land, but none are really laugh out loud funny. There are fun references that we really do enjoy, and they are definitely clever. The joke with Dennis Haberg's zipper and the Seth Rogen scene are both really funny. And on the other hand, some of the comedy in Roger Rabbit hasn't really aged the greatest, but a lot of it just comes from the fact that we're watching it from another time. For instance, the entire first scene with the 40s cartoon is kind of bland in our eyes, but when you factor in how revolutionary this comedy was for its time, we really can't overlook it. Even if some of the jokes seem dated, a lot of the jokes in the movie are classics. The throwaway line, LA has the best public transportation system in the world, is quite funny with it immediately being upended in the next scene, and of course, the dueling piano scene is also an absolute classic. So while the movie is a bit dated, it is over three decades old, we have to say that Who Framed Roger Rabbit does have the better comedy. While comedy is important, just as important are the general themes of the film. Who Framed Roger Rabbit's themes were very important topics when the movie first came out, but they're just as important nowadays. The film touches on the subjects of racism, prejudice, and redlining. Eddie is prejudiced against Toons because he feels they caused the death of his brother, but despite this, he still takes a job regarding them. By the end of the film, he's gotten over his prejudice to deal with Doom. Doom is a Toon who hates the other Toons and wants them dead for political and business gains, and the fact that Toons are segregated into specific sections of Los Angeles that is consistently messed up due to redlining, which is a problem from Los Angeles's past, shows that these themes are consistent. Meanwhile, the themes of Rescue Rangers are friendship, breaking up, and the absolute hell that is show business. Throughout the film, Chip and Dale deal with the pain that is fame. Everything from being chewed up and spit out, to canceling the show, to everything in between. Chip and Dale need to rekindle their friendship by saving Monty, and Sweet Pete's whole deal is that he was spat out by the system, and he wants to break it. This business can be so tough. Huh, <laughs> you said it. While these are important things, no doubt, we think Who Framed Roger Rabbit has a much more focused and well-made theme that was handled surprisingly well. But let's take a moment to talk about the animation blending slash CGI, as they're the most focal point of both these films. Rescue Rangers mixes dozens of animation styles, from claymation to 3D animation to Muppets, to everything in between, and somehow it all blends together really, really well. While some characters look out of place, that's usually on purpose, like Bob, who is created to be part of the Uncanny Valley. Even during the Captain Putty fight, it blends together really well despite fighting with a live action person. It's honestly surprising how most things don't feel out of place. Even the giant walking Muppet fits in really well, which is surprising. The animation blending in Roger Rabbit is just as impressive, especially for its time. Sure, it only shows off 2D animated characters throughout the film, but given the movie was made in the 80s, that's obviously to be expected. But we're gonna say because of how well Chip and Dale builds off of what Roger Rabbit built, that Rescue Rangers actually surpasses Roger Rabbit in this section. With pretty much everything else covered, we do have to talk about the centerpiece of any movie, the cast. 
Now, obviously, since both of these films have phenomenal acting for the most part and are made by big studios, they have a large star-studded cast. To name just a few, in Roger Rabbit, we have iconic cartoon voices like Mel Blanc. Eddie is played by Bob Hoskins, who was known for films like Mona Lisa and the Super Mario Brothers movie that we don't talk about. The main villain, Judge Doom, was played by renowned actor Christopher Lloyd, best known for playing Doc Brown from the Back to the Future series, and Uncle Fester from the live-action Addams Family movie, and even the main villain hacker in Cyber Chase. Rescue Rangers, on the other hand, has a massive cast, from Dennis Hayberg, known for the Allstate commercials, to Tress McNeil, who voiced Dot Warner, Agnes Skinner, and Mom from Futurama. The main villain is voiced by Will Arnett, who is Bojack Horseman in Lego Batman, and Captain Puffy is voiced by J.K. Simmons. And that's not even mentioning Andy Samberg and John Mulaney. And as much as the cast of Roger Rabbit was great, we're giving this category to Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. But with all those categories complete, we reach our conclusion. After a long debate about some major things and some smaller things, we decided that, to no one's surprise at all, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is the better film. There's really just no denying how iconic Who Framed Roger Rabbit is. Its special effects, comedy, and uniqueness were really nothing less than revolutionary for its time. Tunes gets them every time. And while Rescue Rangers is a really good film, it just doesn't hold a candle to the absolute classic that Who Framed Roger Rabbit is. But let us know in the comments section if you agree or disagree, and tell us what you thought of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Remember to hit that notification bell and binge more of our videos, including our good to evil videos for both Roger Rabbit and Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. But most importantly, stay wicked.